<coughs> uh, let me clear my throat. Um, by the time I get finished doing this video, you're going to say, you know what, bro? I'm going to go ahead and take your word of advice and go ahead and listen to you, man. This world is crazy. Anyway, this is a, I guess you could say, now I'm going to assume that these women were really former divesters and they're exposing divestors, current divestors, which is a pleasure, an absolute pleasure to my ears, needless to say. But I just got to let some stuff play. And this girl's video is kind of like, okay, she just did this video yesterday. And I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and play it and let you listen. And she's going in on divesters and these women, these old lonely hoes that sit around all day. These lonely, mentally deranged, neurologically abnormal women. Because a lot of y'all don't know that a lot of these little divesters and a lot of these little black man haters, these are really females with neurological disorders. It's unfortunate as black people that we're just not the type of people that discuss that type of stuff. We just call people crazy. But a lot of them have neurological disorders. Um, without further ado, let me let you listen to just a little something, something. And remember, this was uploaded just yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me clear my throat. <coughs> Former divester going in. Hold on. Hold on. Give me just a second. Hit. It is, it is. And all this, you can't find a man. No, you can't find a man that's going to grovel down under your feet. That's what you can't find because black women want to be men. They want to be in charge of men. They mm -hmm. want to be over men and they want to be men, period. Now, I'm going to go back because she's really, she's really going in and I'm going to talk as she's talking because look, I'm going to tell you something. I did a video on this channel about Barbara Banda and gender in, in among black people, man. Uh, 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 we need to do a very serious study about gender because I don't think that everything among us is as simple as male, female. These women got weave, makeup and all this stuff to create the appearance of feminine woman that, you know, by Western standards. But I've looked at a lot of African video footage from people from Africa, women from Africa, all on TikTok and Instagram and whatnot nowadays. Man, these women are damn near male. Yeah, she's a woman. She got a pussy, but that bitch, got, she sound like a dude. She got hair in her face and she ain't going to be married to no man. She might take some dick and get, and get a baby, but that's about it. No other rule uh, of what Western white people do does she abide by. The only thing that she can do that a, West, that a Western European woman does is open her legs and get a baby. Boom. It's over. Gender construct is over at that very point. But I'm going to let this girl go on a little bit more. But yeah, they're just pretending to be Western women with weave and they're dressed up like drag queens. They're, they're deceiving their men no different than gay ass males. I'm going to just keep it real with you. Their routine to get a black man ain't no different than a gay ass tranny. Ain't no different. As in to see two gay people together like this is we act like we living in the damn 40s and 50s come on now who gives a damn the man or the woman are with who they want to be with let them be who the heck it is that they are together who cares if they're mixed race this is the least of anyone's problem at this point but she ain't lying when she said that black women will turn their noses up and then carry on and be like, especially, well, let me, let me rephrase only when it's a black man with a white woman or white or I'm sorry, black man with anybody that's not black. It's always looking up, acting crazy, turning their nose up in their faces. You see it in the comments with the daggone celebrities. It's always a Bronny James took it, took the damn girl to the prom. All the man did was take the girl to the prom. Y'all B.I. just had a fit over a child going to his high school prom because he took a beautiful Becky. Yeah, I said it. Because I know that pisses you off. And the girl is beautiful. And I'm going to say this right here. Those, like I said, those are neurologically are 
artistic females. I'm straight up telling you, black people don't want to discuss this stuff, but I can tell you what, what they're doing with LeBron James and Kim Kardashian and, and Kanye West. That is for people that ain't got no life. They use celebrities. That's the biggest and the most popping normal thing that they see. They use celebrities as their idea of what's going on in the world because they have few, if any, interactions. A lot of these folks are just sit around all day in front of, you know, computers and shit. That's it. The motherfuckers don't go nowhere. Trust me. I didn't learn that shit in the video game community. It's some dudes that's too damn good. Like, motherfucker, you got to be sitting in front of your screen all day to sit up there and make this character do all this shit. And a lot of these women are the same. It just uh uh converts itself over to the notion of man hatred, which is really like the whole thing with them attacking Nyla Speaks. Those were a bunch of nerdy girls attacking another girl for having a man. It really didn't have nothing to do with Taz and the person that he is. No. You're with a girl. I mean, you're you're with a dude. No, 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 no. You can't be with a dude. And see, a lot of the Mikto dudes who are artistic, they are the same way. They used to be like, well, this guy isn't Mikto. He's not truly an incel. He's faking it and pretending. And I, and see, that was an artistic person knowing and saying, I know how to recognize other artistic, neurologically abnormal people. He's not really one of us. This is Marshall Boyd with hair right. He's not really one of us like that. See, y'all don't understand. Y'all are really being deceived and led on by a lot of neurologically crazy people. And the reason I'm saying what I'm saying now is because at least... I'm starting to get some backup from accounts like this. This is really a neurologically normal woman that is pushing away from a crazy coop. That, that's, that's, that, that's all she doing. It's a crazy black girl coop of retarded ass neurologically artistic females with no life and no ability to actually communicate with anybody outside of a fucking comment section or a Twitter account who sit around talking about celebrities and, 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 and interracial relationships all day. Anyway. Man, all this you can't find a man. No, you can't find a man that's gonna grovel down under your feet. That's what you can't find because black women want to be men. Mm -hmm. They want to be in charge of men. They want to be over men, and they want to be men. Period. Point blank. And I'm sure they can find some because we all know that there's some out there who don't know, they don't recognize, and they're gonna go ahead and fall for the okie doke. Poor things. Good luck to them. That's all I'm gonna say. But for the rest of them that know about what's going on and they got common sense and they don't want someone to drag them and treat them badly and they want someone who's caring and care for them, who pours into them, who helps them, who encourages them, who has a kind word for them, who smiles at them, who doesn't cause strife, who is okay with making a meal, who is okay with cleaning up a house, who's okay with raising kids, who's okay with having kids, who's okay and spending time with said man, who's okay with having sex with said man. You know, those type women, you know, the pick me's and the mammies, holla, holla, holla. Those of us who have common damn sense, those of us who can get on this platform and say, y'all think you've got it going on, but you at the top of the daggone eviction list, you at the top of the daggone student loan debt list, but then you want to act like you got it going on just because you went to college, child. We all know that college costs money. I man, this woman is going ham. Nigga, she is going ham, grits, potatoes, biscuit, bacon, pancake, and syrup. To a college, you sue my dad on self, okay? And stop that in associates because the shit costs too damn much. But y'all going to continue to go to college even though you can't afford the debt that you have to, in to increase the debt and then not be able to afford the rest of the increased amount of debt. Insane. Don't make... Okay, I'll link you to this video. Uh, I'll, I'll link you to it. I'll, I'll try to throw it down into the comment section. But just in case I get lazy, this is Michonne Den Denyesi. It's two words or two names. M-I-C-H-O-N, second letter or second name, her last name, D-E-N-Y-S-E. Give her a very strong follow. 
And check this out. Hold on. Hold on. Now, I want you to keep in mind the video that you listen to or about to listen to is damn near a year old. It's damn near a year old. All right. Almost a year old. And this is a completely separate female, right? Listen closely. Excuse me. And you don't even know what the fuck this shit means. You don't have enough sense to understand that the fucking movement is about you, not a fucking man. Remedial. We're fucking medial. Remedial. Slow. All them fucking little bitches over to some slow birds. Slow birds. Slow. You got to break shit down for them extra slow and shit. Do you get what I'm under? Do you do you understand what I'm saying, YouTube? If you listen to this video, black people don't know how to communicate the language of mental illness, but you're hearing it. She's telling you, y'all bitches are slow. You're you're fucking artistic. That's why you ain't got no man. There's something wrong with your brain, homegirl. Go outside. Communicate with people. Sit up in front of a damn uh, a screen all day and get the fuck off that dating site. Anyways, I'm going to let her continue to talk to you. And remember, this was almost a year ago. Fuck out of here. The fuck do you think I am? Fuck you, bitch. Who the fuck needs your movement? I'm me, fight me all day, bitch, okay? <laughs> me, fight me in this bitch. I don't need no fucking crew. I don't need no fucking gang, gang, gang. I don't need none of that shit. I stay. <laughs> she say me, fight me. <laughs> stand alone and been standing alone and will continue to. Fuck you, fucking hive my. I'm Daddy Long Stroke, by the way. Ooh, ooh, Daddy Long Stroke. <laughs> Set motherfuckers. Y'all ain't doing shit on this the same revolving door. The same revolving door. The, the shit just keeps God damn, this shit it's like the song that never ends in this bitch. And you think that you you think that people should be following you? You don't even follow your own fucking man shit. <sighs> Man, listen, I'm going to hurt some feelings and I don't give a shit. Fuck you and fuck your feelings, too. Man, this is some total bullshit. Man, I'm just sitting here reading the chat and I'm like, did she really just say that to that young girl? Did she really just say that to her? Like, who the fuck? Who wants to be a part of your stupid divestment shit, bitch? Who are you besides a fucking avatar on YouTube? What do you own, bitch? Do you own your houses? Do you own your DBAs and, and LLCs? What do you own, bitch? And then, are you getting any return off of your fucking investment? You, you spend so much, it's like, goddamn, when do you even have the time to be divested if all you're talking about is black men all day? When do you even have the time to be divested? When you can take that same energy and reinvest it in yourself and actually do something good for yourself. Treat yourself to something. Invest in your wardrobe, invest in something new for yourself, a new hobby. Join a travel club. Pick up a new hobby or something. Learn a new skill. All you do is talk about niggas all day. But you're the main one that claims to be divested all fucking day. No, I think not. I think not. All these fake ass valley girl accents want to be whitewashed. Man, fuck that shit. That's some fake shit. Ain't no fucking divestment. No fucking wear. Fuck out of here. These bitch Listen, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes I have to smile to keep from laughs, to keep from hurting. I mean, it just really hurts my fucking brain. I can't even believe this shit. Well, oh, uh, hold on. Let me let me go forward there because this, as hard as she just went, then. Man, this video is like an hour and a half long. Man, this girl went in. And, you know, I could have made a video about it a year ago, but it, she went in. They, 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 look, I be knowing shit, bruh. These fucking women are fucking crazy, bruh. These women are crazy. They got neurological disorders, and a lot of them are just lame. And then on top of that, I mean, I could just go in and just talk about it so much. But hold on. Let me go forward a little bit. I'm going to go right here. Hold on. That you actually don't like yourself. 
You're prejudiced against yourself. Uh huh. Yep. And 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 and, and, and I'm gonna tell you something. In higher societies, when you get around upper echelon circles and people that live a high end lifestyle, that shit ain't a good look to them. They look down on that type of mindset. Mm hmm. It ain't all about looking good and driving fancy cars. When you get around those those rich, wealthy people, I'm talking about Vatican wealth. They look down on people that carry certain mindsets because wealth is not about being flashy or looking good or having money. It's not that's not what true wealth is. They want to know if you're ignorant or not. They want to know, do you have a fucking brain? Uh Can you do business efficiently? Yep, and see, she's telling the truth. She's talking about the shallow, materialistic way black people are, uh, you know, and how we ain't never going to get rich because we just got a brain that we're nigger rich, you know, nigger rich. I mean, just look at the fact that we call our women queens. There's no telling how many billions of dollars of businesses that white women own throughout this country and world do you know any white woman out outside of the goddamn Queen of England that's referenced as Queen? That represents such a state of delusion. You can never get rich with that level of delusion. You've just, I mean, it's just like Harriet Tubman said, could have freed more slaves if they even knew they were slaves. That's black people. How many rappers have set up there and died and the only thing you can remember about this dude is flashing money in a video and his mama sitting up there talking about, I need y'all to dedicate to my son's GoFundMe. That's black people in a nutshell. Dude sitting up here riding around in fake rented Benzes and Ferraris and throwing up money and what little money he get, take it to a damn script club to throw it at a bunch of delusional women with weaves that are overweight with makeup on their face, who think they too good for you, who call themselves bad bitches and call you a lame. She damn near look like you with a pussy between her legs and a fucking weight problem without a wig. And some broke ass nigga in a rap video with a bunch of rented money, um, making himself look fake rich in a rental Ferrari, in a rental house with a bunch of hoes from an escort site that a white boy didn't gave him, and you get a bunch of dumb Negro women that line up to that line up underneath this fake ass social character and have baby after baby after baby. And then when he dies, <laughs> his mama's up there talking about, I'm gonna need five thousand dollars to bury little buckshot. <laughs> Anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and shut this video down. You heard it from the horse's mouth. You damn self. At least some women are waking up. And and I'm going to just say this. Big gigantic F you to all the neurologically retarded women that sit around online all day bumping their gums because your retarded ass brain can't get you no friends in the real world with your lame, sorry, pathetic ass. Get the fuck out of here. I'm out. Let me go get a white man. You ain't gonna get shit. You lame ass, retarded man, re, re, retarded brained bitch. You ain't gonna get shit. Shut the fuck up and sit down and sit your lame stank butt behind in front of your lame ass do nothing computer all day with your lame ass and get you some therapy and some fucking brain medication. Now, I'm officially out. Notice.